Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so in this video, it's going to be kind of a short one, but I'm going to install a, uh, a nightlight switch panel on the back of the uh, the bed of the, the Gladiator. That's going to control um, some LEDs I'm going to insert. Well, I've already got those ran. LEDs back here, um, red ones, that way I can use those in the spring for, uh, as far as I know, red light doesn't attract bugs. Um, so it's still going to be able to light the, light the bed up. And then I'm going to install some lights underneath the railings back here on the uh, fishbone off-road uh, medium-sized bed rack um, and that's just going to help shine down some bright lights on on the bed here so whenever I've got my drawer out and um, cooking whatever I'm going to do back here that's going to significantly help um, but anyways let's jump to it um, I'm going to go ahead and run the wires first go run those back here with this little uh, cutout it's going to be um, get all that set up go ahead and probably wire the switch at least for now, I'll wire it together, make sure everything's gonna work, and then um, you know, I dread it, but then I'll start cutting into the bed. Um, but anyways, guys, here we go. All right, so the brand that I bought, like I said, I bought these off of Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the bio, uh, that way you guys can check these out, but they're RV lights, I think, what you would install on an RV, but man, they, from what I've seen, they work great. I mean, we'll try them out, but they just come in a single box. And I've already installed the tape on this one. So it comes in a, like I said, a double-sided 3M tape. All right, so one thing you wanna make sure to do that I have now done, or forgot to do twice, was take these screws that well. The bottom ones you can just loosen up. The top ones you wanna take completely out at least from that side. All right, so once that wires Put back where it's supposed to go. Tighten these guys up. Good deal. All right, so let's ready to mount up just like this. And what I'll do is I'll basically take a little bit of rubbing alcohol, put it on there, saturate. If you can see that, there you go saturate this and then rub up underneath here where you're gonna install that get it nice and clean and since it's rubbing hole rubbing alcohol it won't take very long to dry all right so let's peel this tape off and get this guy mounted up Looks like it'll fit right about here. Perfect. All right, so if you can see these little clips, so I've got some clips under here. Um, yeah, there you go. You can see that little guy. There you go. So that one's got uh, 3M tape, double side tape on it as well. I bought a whole pack of them from Amazon. And so far, they've been holding up these other wires through everything, um, any kind of water, uh, dust. I've traveled some places with a lot of dust. Um, they're whatever, and they've held up absolutely fantastic. All right, got these wires connected, soldered. I've got it pulled through this little hole, if you can see it right there, and then it'll come out that where that switch is gonna be. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this, I'm gonna end up pinning this up here with those same uh, little sticky holders, whatever they are, wire holders. And I'm gonna run this down right back here so it's out of sight from that way and mostly this way. Fit it nice and snug against the that plastic piece. Run it down the bed line through this hole. 
So I've got it connected. Like I said, I ran the wire down this. I guess I went ahead and did the inner seam, um, protected from the elements. Ran it to this connector or holder, to this wire holder, and like I said, down through that hole. And then I'm gonna install the switch probably tomorrow uh, whenever I have more daylight and the wind is not blowing so bad. All right, wires connected hopefully correctly. Um, let's go ahead and pull this through there. All right, guys, so you can see that. Um, it's a very simple way to put all that together for right now. Um, I just want to see which I do have power. Awesome. So for right now, I'm just doing that to give it kind of a test run. Um, once I install the switch uh, and make sure everything's wired correctly and it's good to go, I will take all of the wires that I've got over there and um, kind of hide them and make it look nicer than what it is. And I've got that quick disconnect. Let's see if I can. Yeah, right there. I've got that quick disconnect. If you can see it, it's a simple lift that little lip up and unplugs and it disconnects the power immediately and it's waterproof. So um, that'll work for now. Anyways, so I've got, there we go. So like I said, I've got this ran to these lights. Um, and again, they are with the double-sided adhesive tape or the 3M tape, which has been working fantastic so far. So I'm not gonna put hardware into those. Um, worst case scenario is, is it comes undone, it falls off, it hangs by the wire, then I'll just know to connect it with um, hardware. Anyways, so ugh, I dried this part. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut I've got to measure the exact dimensions of this, and then I'm gonna cut out probably up here. Well, that was painful, but she's cut. So now we'll try to test fit this guy in there. Perfect. That's gonna work out great. All right, let's get this thing mounted up. At least for right now. So I, like I said, I coated this already. Oh yeah, I coated that with um, some clear coat that way it prevents the rust from happening any kind of rust so that looks good right there so I've got these self-tapping screws sorry it's kind of hard to do this at the same time I'm laying down while well, I'm trying to get this thing mounted so work all right so let's get these actually let's go ahead and test out these lights real quick see if they're uh they're gonna work oh yeah there we go
So that turned out really well. Like I said, I don't have anything for this yet. Um, for this switch, I i don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out for that. If not, I'll just tie up the back end and let that one go for now. Uh, then I've got USB right here. Power's on, that's awesome. Phone chargers, you know, whatever else I need. And then I've got a 12 volt car charger. So I can run my diesel leader off of that um, or off the battery pack but I can plug the diesel leader into here uh, and then in the spring I can, in the summer I can plant, uh, excuse me, plug in the air conditioning unit up to this. <laughs> All right, guys, so you can't see it right now, obviously, but this is what it looks like with the LEDs connected. Awesome. And then this is what it'll be like whenever I have the bed lights on. All right, guys, so I appreciate you coming along. Um, if you stayed through the whole video, uh, I definitely appreciate that. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about videos being too long, too short, not enough detail. So I try to be as detailed as I could with this one, um, as you saw. So anyways, install these, love them. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I've got a video come, two videos coming out soon, or coming up soon. Um, one's gonna be a walk around that I've got um, with everything that I've installed on the Gladiator so far. Um, and then also with the drawer system. And then I've also got another camping video. Uh, it's it's hit or miss with Oklahoma's weather as far as being hot, cold, especially in March. Um, yesterday was 75, 78 degrees. Today was 42. So, uh, but I've got another one that, uh, another video um, that I've done that still involves the uh, diesel heater and all that good stuff. So. I'll have that edited hopefully within the next week get that out to you guys as soon as I can. Um, but again, um, any suggestions, comments, opinions, anything like that, um, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply, um, answer you guys, and then um, any suggestions as far as my Gladiator goes or, or the overlanding package goes, let me know, um, and we'll, we'll talk about that. So anyways. I appreciate you guys um, staying with this, and, and, and I'm at 231 subscribers now, so definitely appreciate that. Uh, I'm hoping that I can build a lot bigger and better than what I've done. Videos, I guess the quality of the videos will get uh, better as, as I progress. So um, thanks for sticking with me, and look forward to the, the adventures to come. And um, yeah, guys, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. See you on the next adventure. Thanks.